Hi guys, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. Um, in Premiere Pro, in the color tab, there's actually two areas where you can apply your LUT or lookup table. So obviously you can apply it in the basic correction tab right here, or you can apply it in the creative tab uh, right here also. Now there is actually a difference between applying it here in the creative tab and here in the basic correction tab. And usually it's probably better to apply it in the uh, creative tab. Uh, and we're going to see why. So for demonstration purposes, let's apply a LUT in the basic correction tab. So I'm just going to apply some LUT here, uh, maybe just this one, just for demonstration purposes. Um, and obviously when we apply a LUT, uh, sometimes it might increase the contrast of our image or make our image brighter or darker. And for this example, as you can see, our image in some areas become blown out. So clipping has occurred, basically the area around the building here has gone pretty much to pure white, it's just completely blown out. And also I'm sure some areas kind of become too dark, so it's become pure black as well. So if we look at the image before we applied our LUT, you can see that we can see some details in the buildings right here. And after we applied our LUT, these, this area has become kind of <clears throat> too, too bright basically. So let's say we, we want to recover some of the detail back, so I might go to the the basic correction tab, you see the exposure slider, I might pull the exposure down, or I might try to pull the highlight slider down. Now as you can see, no matter how much I try to pull the exposure back and make the image darker, the the, the details that, that's lost is basically you cannot recover it back anymore, or it will be very, very difficult to recover it back. Now on the contrary, let's try applying this same LUT on the creative tab instead. So now I'm just going to come to the creative tab, and just going to apply the same LUT, uh, this LUT right here. And again, our image is blown out, right? But this time, if we go back to the basic correction and pull back on the exposure, you can see that the details that are lost is much more easily, or basically is recoverable. Whereas if you apply your LUT in the basic correction and you try to pull you know, the exposure down or whatever to recover the, the details, uh, it's pretty much impossible. So anyone who has used LUTs in DaVinci Resolve might also be familiar with this issue, but basically when you're using a LUT, any information that's lost in the image pretty much cannot be recovered back. So if your LUT uh, made some part of your image you know, start to clip, turn into pure white, just become overexposed, or maybe some darker areas become super dark and just become pure black, you pretty much cannot recover any of those information back afterwards. So basically what's happening in Premiere Pro is because if you apply your LUT in the basic correction here, you're basically applying the LUT first. So once the information is lost, you cannot basically try to recover it afterwards with these sliders anymore. Because um, in the Premiere Pro, basically all the effects are applied in order from top to bottom. So we will apply the LUT first then you can apply these um, correction afterwards. And then after, afterwards, it will start to you know look down to these creative effects and then apply them in order. So if you apply your LUT in the creative tab, uh, your, 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 um, all your basic correction, the exposure slider and the highlight slider will occur before you apply the creative LUT. So obviously in this case, since we, um, we kind of basically adjust the exposure of the image first, so if I turn off the creative tab where we apply the LUT, basically we made the image darker first so that when we apply the LUT in the creative tab, you see the, the LUT makes the image kind of a bit brighter, but since we've already made the image darker before, when the LUT's applied, these areas does not become overexposed. Whether, whereas obviously if we apply the LUT right at the beginning, the image is still quite bright, so these areas just become overexposed, overexposed and blown out, and then you cannot basically recover any of your data afterwards. So this is why I think applying a LUT in the creative tab is better, probably better than applying a LUT in the basic correction tab. Now some of you might be wondering, why does Premiere Pro give you the option to apply you know, the LUT in two different places? Why not just have one? Well, it actually kind of makes sense if you think about it in terms of workflow. So obviously if you film your footage in some sort of log profile, maybe Sony S-Log or Panasonic V-Log, you might want to first convert your log images, which I'm sure everyone has seen by now, uh, it's like really low saturation and very uh, low contrast look. And you might want to convert those log images into a normal looking image first. So let's say if you film with Sony S-Log3, you might use a LUT to convert the Sony S-Log3 into a Rec.709, basically a normal looking image. Then in the creative tab, you can apply 
a creative LUT to change or to convert your normal looking image into a stylized look, maybe an orange teal or a blue tinge or a day to night look or whatever stylized or style that you want. So in that way, it kind of makes sense because then you can film with whatever camera and whatever profile, lock profile that you want. And then you can just use a LUT specifically designed for that camera to convert the lock, lock image into a normal looking image. And then you can have another creative LUT to change the normal looking image into a stylized look that you want. Now I just wish that maybe if the people at Adobe are watching or maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know, please uh, please tell me if I am because it really helped a lot. But I just wish that this input LUT or the, the conversion LUT tab would be applied at the bottom of this basic correction panel. So in that way, the um, the kind of the exposure slider and the highlight slider and the basic correction will be applied first before the LUT. So with that way, if the LUT kind of overexpose your image or whatever, we can kind of recover those uh, blown out area or the, the areas that are too dark. We can recover the information in those area back. Whereas right now, obviously, since we apply the LUT first, uh, any information that's lost can no longer be, you know, be dialed back or recovered. Now, some of you might say that, hey, if we're using the specially designed conversion LUT for your specific camera, it shouldn't be any problem. There shouldn't be any blown out areas or, you know, areas that are too dark. But in reality, obviously, when you're filming, you cannot get the perfect exposure every time. You know, sometimes you might overexpose a bit or underexpose a bit. So when you, even if you apply the LUT that's specifically designed for your camera, sometimes, you know, you can get areas of overexposure or underexposure anyway. Now, there is actually a way around this if you actually want to apply two LUTs. So instead of applying any LUT in the basic correction at all, I might have apply the first conversion LUT. So obviously if you film in S-Log3, I might apply the S-Log3 to Rec.709 LUT in the creative tab. So change the log footage into a normal looking footage. I might apply the first LUT here. And then if I want to apply a second LUT, a creative LUT, to make my image, let's say, look a certain way, I might apply another Lumetri color effect. So I just go to the effects tab, search Lumetri, and maybe Lumetri color. There you go. And I'll just put a second Lumetri color effect onto my footage. And in the second Lumetri tab, then again, now I can put another LUT on. So obviously I'll have two different Lumetri effect on the same clip. The first one to apply the uh, the conversion LUT, you know, to change my log image into a normal looking image. And then in the second one, then I'll apply my creative look. In this way, I can still recover any information that I need because both my LUTs are applied in the creative tab. So I can obviously recover any information before the LUT is applied. Okay, well, I hope it was useful for anyone wondering if there's a difference between applying a LUT in the creative tab and the, in the basic correction tab. So uh, hopefully you can see the, the differences and um, that's pretty much it for today, I guess. Well, bye.